Pierce, Mrs. Lane, members of the faculty, parents, and students, welcome to the 2015 NJHS induction ceremony. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for having successfully completed their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of our NJHS chapter. For current members and those former members who may be among our guests, we hope that this will serve to remind you of the standards of excellence you too are charged with maintaining as members of one of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition programs. Our chapter is proud to have been inducting new members since 2006, and today's ceremony continues the emphasis on excellence that we represent for our school and community. Throughout the year, members of our chapter serve as role models for other students. In addition to the strong academic record which established our eligibility for membership, our chapter members are leaders in many student organizations. We serve our school and community through many activities, including with the Helping Hands Ministry in kindergarten and fifth grade classes. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Concord Christian School chapter of the National Junior Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of qualities that serve as standards for the society. We will now hear from our chaplains for the 2014-2015 year, Sydney Sherrill and Caleb Kuhn, as they lead us in our opening prayer. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the, willing, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. 
matter what power and resources may exist in school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus to lead is a meaningful charge to each of our members. I will now light the candle of leadership. Character is the force within each individual that distinguishes one person from others. It gives us each our individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life, and once developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action and striving daily to make the right choice. The problem with character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. I will not light the candle of character. Next we have Avery Ball, Rachel Barnett, Spencer Breeding, Savannah Butler, Emory, daughter of Randy and Amy Jo Ball, Rachel, daughter of Mary and Anna Barnett, Spencer, son of Steve and Paige Breeding, and Savannah, daughter of Matthew and Danielle Butler.
Noah Carney, Matthew Constant, Brandon Sear, and Isabella Elliott. Noah, the son of Leon Katrina Carney, Matthew, the son of David and Cynthia Constant, Brandon, the son of Marcel and Mary Sear, and Isabella with her mother, Kristen Elliott. Next we have Molly Emery, Kinsey Gray, Leah Gray, and Sophie Hartzell. Molly, daughter of John and Missy Emery, Kinsey and Leah, daughters of Keith and Kayla Gray, Sophie, daughter of Ronald and Mary Hartzell. Next we have Megan Hoover, Troy Jackson, Kristen Jennings, and Sarah Kamer. Megan, daughter of Greg and Jill Hoover. Troy, son of Jeff and Arla Jackson. Kristen, daughter of Jason and Keely Jennings. Sarah, daughter of Mark and Beth. Next we have Seth Kinney, Maddie Knudsen, Camden Coon, and Willa Charte. Seth, son of Greg and Trisha Kinney. Maddie, daughter of Patrick and Diane Knudsen. Camden, son of Adam and Wendy Coon. And Emma, daughter of Trey and Heather and Charte. Next, we have Emily Lester, William Mason, Anna Mueller, and Caroline Now. Emily, daughter of Jeanette Lester, William, son of Mike and Stephanie Mason, Hannah, daughter of David and Debbie Mueller, and Caroline, daughter of Joe and Angela Now. Next we have Lillian Al, Ella Wilson, Josiah Piper, and Connor Quinlan. Lillian, daughter of Joe and Angela Al, 
Noah, son of Paul, Lisa Olson, Josiah, son of Eddie and Hannah Piper, Connor, son of Mike and Janice. Next, we have Lily Scott, Brennan Spiller, Allison Strong, and Allie Tucker. <coughs> Lily, daughter of Brent and Terry Scott. Brennan, son of Richard and Sue Spiller. Allison, daughter of Brian and Dana Strong. Allie, daughter of Jim and Shepard. Next we have Courtney Williams, Cammie Wright, and Megan Wright. Courtney, daughter of John and Crystal Williams, Cammie, son, uh, daughter of Shannon Wright, and Megan, daughter of Pete and Sonia Wright. Our Vice President, Sophie Spengler, will come forward to meet us in our pledge.
for joining us today as we gather to honor the students for their academic accomplishments and for their leadership and their service and their character. I know you are proud of these young men and women just as we are. Uh, let's give them one more round of applause. Receive glory for 